Hello friends and Merry Christmas Eve. Oh my goodness, we made it. Do you remember that very first devotion we did together? It was called, I've got my book right here. It was called The Spoken Word and it introduced us to that very first moment in Genesis 1-3 where God said, let there be light and there was light. And now we are moved, moved, moved all the way through all of these different wonderful stories of light, stories of sharing, stories of Christ's life, stories of Christ's death, stories of Christ's resurrection. And now we have this word in action devotion for us. It is right here. And I hope that you guys are ready for it because I sure am. So Acts 2, 42 and 43 says this. They devoted themselves to the apostles teaching. That's no me. And to the fellowship and to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe and many wonders and signs were performed by the apostles. Ten days after Jesus ascended into heaven, a great promise was kept. The Holy Spirit came and rested on the apostles in the form of tongues of fire. The words coming out of their mouths were languages they had never learned to speak. Nonetheless, the people among them heard them speaking in their own languages and could understand the good news of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. Over 3,000 people were baptized that day. That means on that day, we got 3,000 brothers and sisters. Well, really, years later, they got another brother and sister in you and in me. But I kind of like thinking about it that way, that that's the day our family grew by 3,000. The apostles hadn't prepared for that moment. They didn't study those languages, and they were not working off a master schedule that included a plan for baptizing 3,000 people. The Holy Spirit came, took ordinary men, and gave them extraordinary gifts to be able to express the words to the people that they needed to hear about Jesus. Because the Holy Spirit was with them, they were able to do amazing things. Thanks be to God that the gift of the Holy Spirit is with us too. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, thanks for being in our lives and giving us the power to believe in the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Help us to share Jesus with others, even if we don't know the words to say. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, my friends, and now here is our, let me see. Nope, we will have one more Get the Word Out challenge. So our word, Get the Word Out challenge for today, Christmas Eve, yes, 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 is who is someone you know that needs to know Jesus? First, say a prayer for them. Then ask God to give you an opportunity to share Jesus with them. Trust that God's word will take action. I love you, my friends, and this is a good one because we're gonna be spending a lot of time with maybe family or friends um, this day and, and over this weekend that we have uh, this time off, your guys' school break, all of that, and um, it will be it'll be a good opportunity. Just wait for the wait for the Lord though. He'll he'll direct you and he'll give you the words to say and he'll give you peace if you're nervous. I love you so much, and we'll talk soon. Bye.